In Edmonton's early days, it was just another street. Part of the warehouse district, 104th Street was a commercial hub. Today, it's a cosmopolitan hotspot and now listed as one of the greatest places in Canada by the Canadian Institute of Planners. And Marin's a spot because of the fact that we can demonstrate that downtown cores can be revitalized. And it also merits a spot because, you know, we, we have retained a large component of the heritage buildings. Those buildings now house apartments and businesses. The wide sidewalks make commuting ideal for pedestrians. In the shadow of what was the Cecil Hotel, 104th Street is a remarkable story of urban transformation. Well, one of the things uh, that really differentiate our street from many of the streets in the downtown core is that there's a huge uh, number of people living on our street. So it's the residential component which makes our street special. The street represents Edmonton's roots, and there's been a conscious effort to preserve the area. Things really haven't changed that much from the 1920s. To today, a street marked by heritage zoning regulations to ensure it maintains its character-defining elements, many of which don't go unnoticed by Edmontonians. It maintains the architecture of the, uh, of the originality of what Edmonton was, and it just has that sort of um, walkability vibe to it. It's the vibe, the feeling, just all the things that, um, all the really unique things that you can buy. Um, everything, everyone just kind of comes here to hang out. I think it sort of centralizes the whole idea that Edmonton's been trying to change the downtown um, to become more of a sort of a, a place where people live and where you can, you can see people walking down the street. The great places in Canada will be announced in November, but 104th Street is already a clear winner to many Edmontonians. Christina Partsenevelis, CBC News, Edmonton.